So let's talk about tangent lines, something that I want to focus on because we're going to be working with tangent lines for like the next 13 weeks after this. So I really want you to just like be able to know what a tangent line is. Like if I if I draw a curve, I want and I put a point and I mark a point on it, I want you to be able to draw the tangent line. Just you can just do it. It's so important. So what do I think is so important about a tangent line or like what makes a tangent line be a tangent line? What are the important properties, the nascent properties of it? Um, first, it just touches the function at the point of tangency. Um, or lines are a special case because the tangent line to a line is the line again. And that's not very interesting. Um, so what I mean by this, in terms of it just touching at a point, let's find, so I'm going to mark this point right here. That's x equals a, and that's going to be my point of interest. And I'm going to mark up here, this is going to be the point of tangency. And the coordinates of it are a comma f of a, right? Because a, that's the x value, and then f of a because, well, it has to live on the curve. And I'm going to draw the tangent line. And um, that's the best I can do by hand. And so this is the tangent line. And what is so what is so fancy about this particular line? Well, um, it only touches, it only just barely touches at the point of interest, right? Like if I were to draw another line, let's say I put it in green and I draw another line. That that's just like that just like blatantly crosses, right? This is not tangent. We could view it as a secant line, but it's definitely not a tangent line. Another thing that I think is so special and something that I really want you to internalize is is this like zooming property. So if I zoom in on the curve there, inside of this little window right here, which this um, this environment won't let me do. I can't zoom in any further. But if I zoom in just inside of here, inside of there, you can't tell the difference. That is to say, the tangent line basically is the curve inside a really small window. And that's what makes it be tangent. So I have two properties, special properties here. It just touches. And if you zoom in, you can't tell the difference. Um, another thing that we're going to work on understanding and internalizing is that the slope of the tangent line, so the slope of this line, is the slope of the curve there. Like, if, if I had to draw a line of best fit that describes the curve, say I'm only allowed to draw straight line segments, well, I'm going to draw a straight line segment that's just a segment of the tangent line. You know what I mean? One thing I want to clarify is it's not that it's not that the tangent line doesn't cross. Like I could draw another function in which the tangent line does cross at that point, but it still just barely touches. And I'm going to do that right now. Do you see why I chose that line? It, it best matches the curve at that point. And if I do a little zoom in inside of this window right here, say we're to blow that up, I've got my curve. I'm just going to do something like that. And I've got my tangent line. And inside that window, you just can't tell the difference. Um, I think my purple curve could be a bit better in terms of illustrating what I wanted it to. So let me try again. Because it does cross. It does cross. So it's not that the it's not that the tangent line doesn't cross. It's that inside of a small window, it's the it's the line of best fit. There's no better line for representing my curve f at the point of tangency. The tangent line is the best line. There is no better line. No line better represents my curve.
And that's what makes the tangent line the tangent line. Heck is a secant line. Well, the secant line, I'll come back to those bullet points. We're going to focus our attention again on the base point A. My secant line is defined by stepping off of A some distance delta x. And we're in control of that, generally speaking. And that generates a second x value here and then a point on my curve. And that second point has coordinates a plus delta x comma f at a plus delta x. Because I start with x coordinate a and then I have to add delta x to it to get there. And then I take that x coordinate of my second point and I feed it into my function to find out what the height is and I get f at a plus delta x. So I've got a second point, and it's a, a secant line is always defined by a second point. So I'll draw the secant line. So what makes this different from a tangent line? Well, around the point of interest, I can really tell the difference between the secant line and the curve. It's also defined by two points as, oppo as opposed to one point. So the secant line is defined by two points, the base point, the point of interest, and a second point that's defined in terms of a distance away from the base point, delta x. Another name for delta x is often going to be h. And the special thing about the secant line in relationship to the tangent line is as I take delta x to zero, as I let delta x go to zero, the second point moves towards the point of interest and the secant line becomes the tangent line. So if I draw a sequence of points on my curve defined by delta x going to zero and I draw the secant lines that go through them, they become more and more like my tangent line eventually, until eventually the secant lines become my tangent line in the limit. So secant lines exist as a tool to define the tangent line. And we cannot define the tangent line without secant lines. So the tangent line is defined by secant lines. So I start with a base point and a second point, and I have a secant line. And then I make that be smaller and smaller and smaller. Delta x goes to zero and this point. And I watch what happens to the secant line until eventually I get the tangent line. So you might ask the question, why don't I just compute the tangent line? And the answer is, the tangent line has only one point, right? And one point is insufficient to compute a line. So through this one point go an infinite number of other lines, which may or may not come from secant lines. And how do I know which one is my tangent line? Well, I have to follow the sequence of secant lines in order to get there. So the point is, secant lines define the tangent line. And unless you start with secant lines, there is no tangent line. I want to work on the slope of secant lines and then talk about how that relates to the slope of the tangent line. And I'd like to convince you that you already know how to compute the slope of a secant line. If I have two points, I'm certain that you can compute the slope that goes through them. I've got a line that goes through two points. And in order to compute the slope of this line, 
I simply compute rise and run, and the slope is rise over run. I'm certain that you know that. So what makes this different? What makes this different from this from this from the scenario? Well, in terms of um, a secant line, my second point, let's take this one to be the base point here. My second point over here is defined by stepping off of the base point by some distance delta x. So you're given um, a and a delta x and an f. And we compute the slope of the secant line. And in order to do that, I'll use one of these three formulas, all of which are simply rise over run. And once you practice doing them, I think you'll find that they're, they're quite simple. So I just take the difference of the f values. That's this one right here, because the height right here, that is f at a plus delta x. The height right here is f at a. I take the difference, and lo and behold, I get <laughs> the thing that appears in the numerator of all three of these expressions. And in terms of what's going on down here, that's just the difference between these two inputs. So you've already done this in your experience with algebra classes. The only thing that's different for secant lines is that we're given the second point in terms of a base point and a distance delta x. That's it. It's the only thing that's different.